Plug in some attitude with Sound Boys. So, hello, Luca. Hi, hi, nice to see you again. Always a pleasure. We're here on the Chaos Devices booth. Yeah. And you're going to show us your new aptly named, must I say. Yes, it's called Berlin. Drumroll Berlin. Yeah. This is our new module, the newest one. This is a uh, extremely wide range VCO. I say extremely wide range because it goes from 30 seconds, so well into the LFO territory, up to 20, uh, 250 kilohertz. So you won't hear it, perhaps your dog will. will but you can use it to clock BBD devices or to use it uh, as a clock source in other Leibniz subsystem module because that's another feature. Uh, Berlin can function completely on its own, but uh, it's compatible with our 8-bit Leibniz subsystem. Let's hear it. On its own, it outputs a saw wave and a square wave. Well, the fun starts when you connect it with the uh, Jena, with the Leibniz uh, connectors behind the back, and switch this function on. Now, Berlin is scanning through Jena's uh, wave shapes. Let's uh, start a sequence so it gets a bit interesting. And now we hear Berlin uh, scanning through Jena's uh, wave shapes with Jena's shape modulated uh, with a Zadar envelope. Uh, we can change the sounds, the banks of Vienna either manually so or via CV as well. So are we, are we listening to Berlin now or are we listening to Berlin We're processed listening by to Vienna? We're listening to the combo of Berlin and Vienna. Berlin is uh, used as a, as a driver for Vienna and as the uh, analog output because behind the back you have access to its Leibniz out and Leibniz in. Right now we're using the Leibniz in with Jena, but you can use it with other modules, which I'll talk about uh, in a second. What's unusual about Berlin is uh, the way it operates. It uses a varying something rate, the clock, which runs at uh, 256 times uh, the speed of the oscillator. Uh, this is the way uh, it's similar to the way uh, classic digital synthesizers work, like PPG or Fair Fairlight. And because of the varying clock rate and the, uh, the fact that it can go up to 20 megahertz, which is a new record for the Leibniz subsystem, uh, there's uh, no audible aliasing because no samples are dropped no matter how high uh, the pitch of Berlin is. Uh, let's get back to the features. Octave switching manual but also includes a CV input, uh, FM input with attenuation, hard sick input, Leibniz clock, you can use it uh, for your other Leibniz subsystem modules, and the uh, Leibniz link function which is also controllable via gate. Uh, another nice trick to do with Berlin and Yeda for example is we can take the square output of Berlin and cross patch it to the link input. And now, what we hear uh, is uh, one half of the wave uh, of the wave cycle is uh, some part of the saw from Berlin, and the other, whatever crazy stuff is going on in Jena. And by choosing whether you start with a with link enabled or inactive. Uh, you, chose, you choose which half of the wave cycle is taken from which module. Uh, the nice thing about this combo is that it's uh, pretty compact, it's only 16 HP, but you've got a very, very complex and very capable uh, oscillator and modulation source, because you can use Jena's bit output either for Leibniz link, control, you can use it to sync Berlin with any bit you choose. Some, some other 
some new sound shaping possibilities. But we're hoping that Berlin and Jena will become a gateway to the Leibniz subsystem for people who are scared because they don't feel they, they're capable of operating it, they, don't, they understand it. With this one, you don't really have to understand it. You just connect those two behind the back and it's instant gratification, instant fun. And because in the LFO mode, it goes down to 30 seconds, uh, you can use it as a modulator as well. You've got access to all those crazy sounds from Yena, including modulating them in real time uh, for some regular or rather irregular modulation of other stuff within your system. Um, let's move Yeah, you've got to a bit more of a patch going yes, on, right? Yes, yes. Let's turn this one off and let's have a listen to that one. What's better than Berlin? Two Berlins, of course. I'm sorry for it, that joke. But uh, here we have a patch of uh, uh, five modules, six modules, two Berlins, Potsdam, Jena, Rostock and Lipsk. Right now, these two Berlins are connected to Potsdam behind the panel and the output of Potsdam is going through Jena or Jena and uh, Rostock because it's split there and it returns to, to those uh, two Berlins. And we're using various Leibniz modulation sources to uh, operate the functions of these modules. For example, we used Rostock uh, for looping the incoming data, the incoming weight shapes, and then scrambling it for some new, unusual weight shapes, unobtainable uh, with other with other modules and here's a nice trick everything is works at audio range uh, and above now we use the Leibniz clock from the first Berlin to switch between these two Berlins in Potsdam I can do it manually so this is the difference in sound but now when we do it at a super high speed the sound becomes something else uh, entirely. So this is not for the faint of hearted, but it's definitely doable. But I think that once you start with, uh, say, Berlin and Jena or at Gera at the end of the um, Leibniz loop for some added grit, you're in for some really nice adventure. So um, is it available now, Berlin? Yes, it is available in stores as we speak. It's uh, it's kind of cheap. It's 220 euros. It's very competent on its own without any Leibniz modules. Uh, what with 20 volt, 20 octaves of tracking and the and the ability to use it um, um, as an LFO. Uh, so as it goes, sorry, I'm just thinking. Sure. As it goes up so high, could it be used for uh, video synthesis stuff as well? Because that we haven't checked it, but uh, you know, 20 megahertz of clock, it uh, sounds quite all right. It's even, it's even too high for video, as far as I remember. The main problem can be the bandwidth of uh, of the cables, patch cables you will use, because right, yeah. mm, 20 megahertz and uh, megahertz territory is, is pretty high yeah. and pretty okay. demanding. Okay, well, yeah, Lucas, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thanks for stopping nice by. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Cheers. Bye-bye.